ladies and gents, I'm Zephyr Victorious, and welcome to Christmas time. So before we get started, I just want to say Merry Christmas Eve, and I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday. Um, I know sometimes holidays can get kind of crazy, but there's a lot of joy that comes with them, along with all of the insanity. Um, so I found this, cr this uh, Christmas game. It looks kind of interesting, so I wanted to see what it's like. Let's start this up. 1959. All right. Every year, my part, my parents gave a party for Christmas. I loved the atmosphere. The room so full of friends and laughter. Okay. Uh, that's the same thing. Okay. I was only 17 when I first saw him. He was so handsome, so tall. I think this might be a love story. I still remember my mother's Christmas turkey. What would I give to taste it once more? He made me laugh. We danced, we talked, and I kept thinking, it's him, he's the one. Nineteen sixty. You were seventeen and now you're eighteen. Alright. Those are my parents. They weren't so happy about our marriage, but they supported me anyway. And let us move in with them. We had little money of our own. Okay. We got married after just a few months of courtship. Everyone said he's too old for you. Or, it's too soon for marriage. But I didn't listen. I loved him more than anything. Okay, is that always a- that's not usually a good thing. I loved flowers. That's why I opened a shop after a while. My compositions are still the best in town. Nice. He smoked. I didn't like that about him. Eventually, when I was pregnant, I convinced him it was not good for the baby's health and he stopped. Not good for the baby. Not good for you. He kicked! Oh, well, that's cute. So many bills, and the baby was on its way. He wanted to find a better job. He did, but he had to travel a lot. I hated when he was away for weeks. Whoa. That was loud. <laughs> After my father's death, my mother dedicated her life to my beautiful daughter. I owe so much to her. I miss her. I miss them both. She has always been beautiful, clever, and sweet. Never could wait until Christmas to open her presents. Oh, that's super- It squeaks! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. My husband was everything I'd ever dreamed of. He read so much and was so clever that everyone respected him. Everyone loved him for his wits and kindness. She never slept, so full of energy and wonder, and that meant that we were always tired and sleeping whenever we could. Dude, I remember kids. It was- it was rough, man. Little kids are the worst, as far as, like, sleep schedules. They don't have them. A drawing from my daughter. She's growing into a talented young woman, creative and smart. Yeah, we had all the money we wanted thanks to his job, but it wasn't worth the distance, the loneliness. My second child was a beautiful boy. How could he miss his first steps? He should have been there. My daughter was so happy to finally have a brother, an ally for life. He traveled a lot for work, even for months, and he could only write. No smartphones back then. But I waited. But when he wrote he couldn't be home for Christmas, it was enough. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Uh oh. 1990, so this is... I don't do math. 39 years later? 49 years later? His glasses. He needed those after a while. Okay. He understood that his travels were hurting me. I couldn't raise our children alone. That's when he decided to open a bookshop. 
Every night there was a new story to read our children. That's so cool! Darling, it's late. You should come to bed. They just had the most wonderful baby. They named her like me. I cried when they told me. I bought her the best and biggest present I could find. Wait, do you guys have grandchildren? My daughter and her husband, they got- Oh my gosh! They got married last year. I really like him. I can see it in his eyes that he really loves her. Oh, that's so cool! Oh no. Music stopped. He had to take so many pills. His medical records. I looked at them so many times, trying to understand what could be done, but everything kept getting worse. No! Oh, that's so sad. My son got married too. That's his wife next to him. So lovely. A picture of our family. All that sorrow, pain, tears, loneliness, everything that I felt, every minute spent carrying and suffering, was it worth it? My husband died that December. Oh. Christmas was the day he met me. Christmas was the day he said goodbye. His books, his clothes, some photos. That's all that's left of his presence. I miss him every day. Oh, that's so sad. Grandma, we're here. It was. Oh, no. Oh, that was so short. Oh my goodness. But that was so good. I really liked that. You told the story very well. I'm very impressed. The art style is pretty cool. I mean, it's a little, it's different, but I like it. Um, the music's really good too. It fits with the mood of each scene, which was really cool. I also liked that the story didn't go the way I thought it was. And that makes me very happy. I mean, it was still sad in the end, but that was so cool! I really like it! This was amazing. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So good. I applaud you. I applaud you. That was really good. Um, but yeah, so that was Christmas time. Quite a- it was a short, short adventure, but it was amazing. Um, I will leave a link to this game in the description if you guys want to play it yourselves and experience it one more time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and once again, I wish you a Merry Christmas Eve. Goodbye!